What's going on shady people shady penguin here and I'm very excited to welcome you guys to another Pokemon Sun and news update video If you guys are pumped as well Please be sure to show some shady love to that thumbs up down below your thumbs are special and They mean a lot to me when you touch them. So today we have had I believe it's six new Pokemon I'm hoping maybe seven. I think I'm wrong, but I think it's six new Pokemon released um, I'll go ahead and leave the trailer in the description, but I have to tell you guys that this is the happiest I've been with a, not a leak, because it's not a leak, they officially released it, but an official release of Pokemon uh, since Sun and Moon has been announced. 100%. Uh, I think this got me more excited than the starters, mainly because there's just, there's more Pokemon and there's new abilities. And one of them, I am so riled about it. This thing has me so riled. So without any further ado, I don't want to waste too much of your time. Uh, we're going to go over the new Pokemon that they kind of, th th some of these Pokemon have been out, but they were showcased in this trailer again. Uh, mainly only two of them were, were out. Uh, they were leaked in Koro Koro. I don't think I did any, I'm not sure if I did any coverage on the channel. I believe I may have, I may not have, I can't remember. I know that I skipped the last trailer where they showed the burst gems and they didn't really give a confirmation, but they just showed their cool moves that the, uh, Elemental the the starters gets used and I'm assuming also they didn't show it yet But I'm on the I'm on the belief that our little uh, what is it rock rough rock rough rocky rough? What is your name little dog uh, rock rough that rock rough is uh, gonna be able to use the burst gems as well But that's a discussion for a different time, but today let's go over uh, beware Beware the bear can you I love this name so much. I love this Pokemon so much so if you guys um if you guys didn't see this Pokemon yet, I'm sure you have, but it's a normal fighting type, the strong arm Pokemon. Like this is freaking, this is this is from Full Metal Alchemist right here. And I love it because there's so much alchemy in Sun and Moon. It's something I haven't talked about on the channel much, but there's just so much, there's so much pointing to al alchemic design in, in Sun and Moon. And it's ridiculous. I mean, we, we talked about Soldier Leo uh, being the, the symbol for the lion that eats the sun or the beast that devours the sun. There's, there's even more. Like, Strong Arm. Strong Arm makes me think of Full Metal Alchemist because of the, uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of his name. Armstrong? Because of Armstrong. <laughs> um, the only known move we know is Hammer Arm. And what's really cool is it has this new ability, Fluffy, which is really interesting. Uh, Fluffy has the damage taken from attacks that make direct contact. So, 50% reduced. Uh, I'm not sure if it... it, it if it's exactly the same as Furfra, I'm not sure what Furfra's damage reduction is, but you know, it reduces any damage. So like uh, anything that makes direct contact, fire, uh, not fire punch, this is the worst example I could do, ice punch, but uh, at a cost. Uh, in return, it doubles the damage taken from fire. So fluff burns up easily. So fire punch would do double damage. So it, it kind of gains, it basically just gains a weakness. It's a normal fighting type that's also weak to fire. Uh, is that good? Is that bad? I mean, it's weak to flying, it's weak to psychic, it's immune to ghost, <clears throat> uh, it's weak to fighting as well. So it has, and now it's weak to fire. So it has a few weaknesses on its hand, but it has pretty good defense despite those weaknesses. Uh, or, well, we don't know its stats yet, but it has double defense, which is pretty cool. Uh, so it's strong and defensive. I like that a lot. Now, the next Pokemon I'm going to go over is the other Pokemon that was released in Koro Koro, and I, I, okay, Mimikyu, Mimikyu. It is a ghost fairy type holding its Japanese name, which I think they did an excellent job holding its Japanese name, keeping Mimikyu. When I first saw this Pokemon, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. They're really making another Pikachu. Like I thought that that stupid little freaking uh, Togedemaru, I thought Togedemaru was gonna be uh, the Pikachu clone, but nope, here we go, Pikachu clone. And then I read its description that Mimikyu hates sunlight, preferring dark places. It is rumored that the cloth covering its body is a strategy to avoid the sun. Don't try to remove the cloth. It is said that those that do become afflicted with an illness. That is wild. And what's really cool is the cloth that's covering it uh, is actually like an IRL Pikachu costume that was like, it's 20 years old. Incredible. I love the lore behind this Pokemon. Uh, apparently it wears this because it just wants to be loved as much as Pikachu is. And that's awesome. Its ability is disguised. This is by far my favorite ability yet to be released. Uh, it doesn't matter how bad this Pokemon is. Uh, it's just the fact that they came up with its ability. Disguise, essentially, as, as seen in the trailer, in the description, when Mimikyu gets hit, it takes no damage, and its disguise just breaks. That's it. So, it basically, its disguise acts, at a, acts as a substitute. Now, what's wild is, I have to, I have to know, I have to know, like, I, I think it's just gonna be once per, once per battle, but what if it's not? What if every time you switch Mimikyu out, it regains its disguise? I will lose my mind if that's the case. This thing can have base stats of four, and I, I'm gonna call it broken, because, you can give it a focus ash and it starts out the substitute. If it has any setup move, it's over. It's done. This ghost fairy is going to destroy your life and cast an illness on you. 
Incredible, I love it. So these two Pokemon, kind of old, leaked in Korra Korra, but we got confirmation of how Disguise uh, works as well as Fluffy, so I kind of wanted to talk about that just a little bit. But now we have brand new Pokemon, uh, one, two, three, four brand new Pokemon that have been released. Um, Wimpod, another bug type Pokemon. It is a bug water type though. So joining that Surskit clan, uh, the only new move we've seen is it's got Struggle Bug. It's 27 pounds at one foot eight inches. What? That's insane. Um, let me read the description for you really quick. Wimpod have a cowardly nature and are wary of noises and sudden movements. If you approach them in a group, they'll immediately run off. When Wimpod feel threatened, they spit out a poisonous liquid. The stench of this toxic fluid signals others that danger is near. Despite their extreme cowardice, their curiosity leads Wimpod to approach people or Pokemon that are standing still. Wimpod eat and store anything that they find fallen on the ground. They also scavenge uh, any garbage that's been dropped in the sea so they are highly valued as cleaners. They sometimes carry pearls or other valuable items so humans or Pokemon like Murkrow may target them. So I like reading the description for new Pokemon that come out because I'm trying to find any sort of hint of evolution. Now, I'm seeing a lot of garbage and a lot of poison in this description, so there's a chance that this will end up being bug poison instead once it evolves or maybe poison water. I'm not sure which one it would lose. Probably keep the primary for bug, but uh, it has a lot to do with garbage. It spits a venom, uh, poisonous liquid when it's in danger. Uh, definitely like it. As far as design goes, it's a perfect little bug. I love this so much more than the than um, oh my gosh, what was that train that they released? Um, Charge a bug, the battery. Uh, I love Wimpod so much more. I'm not a huge bug type guy. This design is beautiful though. Uh, feels a little sculpete esque. Its eyes remind me of the Little Mermaid. I'm looking at them right now, deep into those eyes, and it reminds me when they would get turned into the little sea urchins, and they look really sad. It's kind of making me a little down. But purple's perfect shade. Silver looks really nice, and Wimpod is a win in my book as far as design goes. Uh, like I said, this is the happiest I've been uh, with Pokemon releases, and I have zero complaints. Bounce Sweet is the next Pokemon. Beautiful name. Little 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 cherry bouncing around. Um, it's grass type. Uh, nothing else. I was kind of hoping. Well, I didn't want flying since it's like a jump off ripoff, I guess. But look at it. Let's read this description. Uh, its abilities are Flower Veil and Oblivious. So two abilities that we're familiar with, which is totally fine. Uh, I'm just glad. Oh, I'm sorry. Wimpod, by the way, has a new ability, Wimp Out. Let's go. Let's go back to that really quick. Uh, Wimp Out. When this Pokemon. Oh, I love it. When this Pokemon's HP drops below half in battle, it will run away or swap for another Pokemon. It has. What? It has a built-in Volt Switch. Like, get me out of here. It's a built-in, um, what would it, not red, uh, eject button. That's awesome. Oh, well, eject button only, but below 50%. That's really cool. I like that ability. They're coming up with some really, really cool abilities, and I love it. Oh, awesome, Wimpod. Well, back to Bounce Suite now. Has Flower Veil and Oblivious. Two abilities that we're familiar with. Let's just read this description though, just in case. Because it exudes a delicious smell from its entire body, Bounce Sweet is popular with Pokemon and people of the Alola region. Bounce Sweet's scent has a calming effect on humans, so many people let them live inside their house as a sort of air freshener. Unfortunately, it's sometimes swallowed by whole by a Pokemon drawn to its aroma. When running away from other Pokemon, Bounce Sweet flees danger by skipping along the ground. Since its bouncy movements don't convey to others that it's actually in desperate flight, no one ever comes to its aid. That's really sad. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is the first time I'm reading these, by the way. Same thing with the ability uh, went bad. I had no idea what it did before this video. I only knew Mimic. That's awesome. So nothing really describing whether it's going to evolve or not. Grass types, though, pretty safe bet that they might evolve considering how small and adorable this thing looks. But, you know, there's a chance that it won't. Now, the next Pokemon I'm really happy with, I'm really happy with, Comfy. Now this Pokemon embodies the Alola region, obviously. It obviously embodies the Alola region because it's literally one of those flowers rings that you put on your head when you're in Hawaii. Uh, it's a fairy type Pokemon, which makes perfect sense. And I'm really happy with this because it looks like a little spritzy, a little spritz fairy, and then it has a tail that's uh, a bed of flowers. And he's, I love the way that it's just holding uh, the tail of the flowers. Really, really like it. Really tiny, four inches um, and 0.7 pounds. Uh, Comfy picks flowers and always carries them around. It makes a ring of blossoms and spreads oil from its body on it, which changes the flowers so they emit a soothing fragrance. 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 It has a habit of giving these flower rings to those it's fond of. The aroma can soothe both itself and its allies. 
Uh, Comfy also helps with the treatment of people in Pokemon at Pokemon Center and hospitals thanks to its aroma. When attacked by other Pokemon, it throws its flowers at them to create an opening, and then it either flees or strikes back. So really cool, we have a new Pokemon that's gonna be associated with Pokemon Centers. Perhaps Comfies will be all over the Alola region in Pokemon Centers instead of Chansey's. That would be really, really cool. Uh, like I said, its abilities are Leaf Guard and Triage. Uh, we all know what Leaf Guard is, but Triage says, makes restorative moves gain the highest priority in battle. So, if this Pokemon gets Recover, it will recover uh, just as fast as an Extreme Speed. If not faster? I think Extreme Speed is uh, 7 or 6, and then there's 7. Whatever. I think Extreme Speed is Extreme Speed. So if it speed ties with an Entei, or if it's faster than an Entei, you know what? Recover's going first, and I'm just going to go down to like, your, your Sacred Fire, most likely, because this thing looks frail as a duck. But a, definitely a really interesting ability that they made possible uh triage it's really really cool uh the final pokemon that was released in this trailer it is mudsdale which we don't even have the japanese name for yet it is the draft horse it is a ground type pokemon the design on this pokemon is beautiful i love horses i really do i feel like we haven't had a breathtaking horse since apona apona wow ponyta <laughs> Ponyta and Rabidash, and I think uh, Mudsdale fits right in with them. Uh, obviously, just a lot more girthy because it's a ground type, but I love it. It has the abilities Own Tempo and Stamina, and now Stamina is an ability that I absolutely love. So let's go over that right now. What Stamina does is it increases the Pokemon's defense by one when it get hit, gets hit by attack. So whenever you hit this thing, it's going to get a defense increase. I love abilities like that. Like, built in, I'm going to get stronger as you pummel me. Like, well done, Game Freak. That is an incredibly designed ability. I really hope this Pokemon evolves, or I hope that it's like a good base Pokemon, kind of like a Tauros. That's what, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like a, a an okay, gonna be in a low tier most likely, but a solid, solid Pokemon with a great ability. Let's read that description to see maybe if we can find if it evolves or not. Mudsdale is known for its powerful body as well as its emotional fortitude, which keeps it from being agitated by anything. It never cries out, no matter what kind of trouble it's in, and it defeats its opponents with a single powerful blow this thing is going to be strong its legs are coated in protective mud and the weight of this coating increases the force of its kicks likes to use its toes obviously it doesn't have hands one kick and a car is a pile of scrap i love that mudsdale's running speed is not too swift but it's excellent power and stamina but it has excellent power and stamina. It can carry on for three days and three nights despite dragging loads of over 10 tons. Oh my gosh, they made this thing sound ridiculous. When Mudsdale gall gallops in earnest, the power of each hoof clap can, clop can dig out huge holes, even in asphalt. Mudsdale is forbidden to run on some of Alola's public roads. That is incredible. So this Pokemon is ridiculous. It weighs 202 pounds more than me. No, no, I'm sorry, 2,028 pounds. It's 8-2, this thing is gigantic. This is a giant Pokemon, holy crap. Wow. Well, with an ability like that and a description like that, I have really high hopes for Mudsdale. Please don't let me down, Game Freak. Give this thing some awesome base stats. Make this like, obviously it's not gonna be, like, just make it really, I don't know who I would compare it to. I don't, I don't even want it to evolve. It's not gonna evolve at this point. It's 8-2 already. It's not evolving. I'm gonna go ahead and say Mudsdale is not evolving, but I'm okay with that. Uh, something I do have to say uh, about all of these Pokemon leaks is as, as, as excited as these get me, I really hope they stop leaking Pokemon soon. Like they've leaked a lot. And the only reason why I would want them to keep going is if they have just as much. Like, I don't want them to leak more than half the decks. I really want half the decks to be kept unleaked, at least officially. I, I really would appreciate that. I mean, they've already leaked, or they've already revealed so many Pokemon, I feel, like comparable to X and Y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, not including starters or legendaries, they've released 16 Pokemon. Uh, with starters and legendaries, they've released like 22, I guess, and that's not including the evolution line uh, of our little grubbin' friend. So, uh, please stop releasing Pokemon, but I have very, very exciting news from the trailer if you didn't watch it yet. Uh, even e two really interesting things, one that's interesting and one that's incredibly exciting for the shady people specifically, so please keep your ears out for this. Um, a new mode is called Hyper Training. So we had Super Training in X and Y, we now have Hyper Training. Pokemon that have grown to level 100 will be able to increase their individual strength, which has never been possible before. It utilizes Bottle Caps as an item in order to boost the stats. Magierna will be given one, given one when distributed. So, not really sure exactly what this is going to entail. But it's saying that level 100 Pokemon can 
basically go beyond level 100, which uh, I guess it's their way of encouraging you to train your Pokemon all the way up to level 100. Um, and I kind of like that. I kind of like that because something in the in the competitive community is, oh, whenever you see a level 100 team, oh, that's it, can't be legit, cannot be legit. But I'm hoping that with this hyper training mode, they're also gonna make it much easier to get to level 100, hopefully. But we'll see what comes when it comes. Uh, I'm interested to see what that means. Does that mean that they're getting rid of IVs and this is gonna be their new form of IVs? Um, is it gonna be able to, it says increase their individual strengths. So you're gonna be able to focus on individual stats and it's never been possible before. I don't know what this means. Are Pokemon just gonna become too powerful or are they gonna be lowering the scale? It's really vague and really crazy, but it's gonna change the meta a little bit, I think. Hyper training, Pokemon that have grown to level 100 will be able to increase their individual strengths, which has never been possible before. It utilizes bottle caps as an item to in, in order to boost stats. I mean, I love bottle caps. I used to eat that candy all the time, but I've never, I'm not, I'm not level 100, so it doesn't matter. Oh my goodness, I really don't know. I really do not know. Um, Yeah, I, I'm really excited to see what this is gonna be. This is the more interesting thing that I was talking about. I'm really, really unfamiliar, and there's no information on it. Hopefully we'll get more information in the coming weeks, because that's something I'd like detailed. Instead of releasing new Pokemon, let us know about new things like this, and let us know about the fact that we can now host our own competitions in the Global Link. That is nuts. So. Shady people, and not shady people watching this video, I encourage you to please hit that subscribe button down below because I promise you that this channel is going to be a source of some of the funnest, uh, some of the most highly packed, awarded online competitions. I am going to do my best so that when Sun and Moon comes out, this channel will be a place where you can win actual prizes because of our competitions. Now, we don't have much details on it yet, how frequently we can do these competitions, et cetera, et cetera. But if we can do them every weekend, you can bet your bottom dollar that you guys are gonna have a good time doing uh, global competitions every weekend and potentially winning prizes, whether that's gonna be a box of Pokemon cards or a, a new Nintendo 3DS or whatever it's gonna be. I want to, this is the opportunity I've been waiting for to give back to the community that has changed my life. So shady people, I'm urging you to stick around, get hype for Sun and Moon because we're gonna have some really fun and unique global battle competitions. I'm always, I'm gonna have a whole thing. I have all these plans, all these ideas since I saw this this morning. It's literally what I've been looking for. So thank you so much Pokemon for integrating this. This is awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, but with that, that's gonna be it for all the Sun and Moon news today. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to show some shady love to that thumbs up down below. And of course hit the subscribe button if you want more Sun and Moon news or you wanna be a part of those global link competitions with some serious prize support when it comes around. I love you so much, but I'm gonna get the hashtag out of here. Have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep Keep it shady.